Three things you need to know about the new Microsoft Surface Book with Performance Base. It's all about that base. Microsoft's new Surface Book is like last year's, a bold design that's somewhere between tablet and laptop, with a detachable display and a base that has more serious computing power. If you love the Surface Book's look last year, you're in luck. If you thought it was weird, well, nothing's really changed with it. It has the same hinge with its odd gap, the same Microsoft pen, which is included, and the same ports. Thankfully, USB 3, an SD card slot, and no USB-C. But the whole package is nowhere near as thin and light as the Surface Pro 4. This time, Microsoft amps up that performance in a slightly thicker base. It has a better battery, improved NVIDIA GeForce GTX 965M graphics, and a more powerful Intel Core i7 processor. It doesn't work with Surface Pro 4, however, but the idea is to swap bases and tops down the road, perhaps. You can't buy that base on its own, though. It comes prepackaged with the top half. Sorry, if you bought a first-gen Surface Book, you're out of luck. It's more expensive. It finally feels like a higher-end laptop, but you're paying for that privilege. The Surface Book starts at $23.99 with 256 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigs of RAM, and goes all the way up to $32.99. It's not a VR machine. Microsoft wants to make everything about VR and mixed reality, but the minimum specs for VR gaming on a PC are higher than what the new Surface Book can provide. So don't expect to plug in your Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. Maybe down the road, Microsoft will aim to make some VR work with this laptop, but don't go buying the Surface Book for VR now. Go somewhere else. The new Surface Book is a better computer and a more expensive one, but it's also more of a bump up to last year's than a totally new experience.